Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, at first I'm actually going to make a new custom watercolour palette because as you can see my old one is very grubby and it wasn't really very organised because when I first made it I just wanted to chuck all the colours in that I thought I might use and after playing with that one for a bit now I know what colours I do prefer and yeah so first I'm just trying to sort out all of the colours that I've got and to see which ones I actually wanted to use because I I mainly wanted to use all of my Windsor and Newton ones um, but I do have a few Aquafine and then some random miscellaneous brands as well but I knew I wanted to try and use as many as of the Windsor and Newton Cotman ones as I had that I liked the colours of and luckily I like most of the colours that I've got in those so that's okay but one thing I did find is I really wanted some new like purple or lilac tones and I just didn't have any and I don't really have the money at the moment spare to go and buy new paints so I thought you know what why don't I just try making my own and it actually works really really well so I got the I think it was rose madder uh, and the magenta so two different pink tones and the cerulean blue and I tried it with ultramarine as well and yeah I just mixed more, one's more of a bluish lilac and then one is more of a pinky lilac or pinky purple and I, I actually really like how they turned out the colours and they work really well they've completely dried now and I let them completely dry before I did this painting that I'm doing in this in today's video and they work surprisingly well I do realise though I need a new lemon yellow that is not a good yellow at all and now I also need to make a new uh, swatch chart um, but I don't think I'll stick it in the palette like I did with my old one because I do I did miss having that extra bit of mixing space but yeah um, for today's artwork I'm actually doing a unicorn which if you follow me over on Instagram you would have seen the sketch for it oh, a few weeks ago now. I was actually supposed to upload this video last Friday but with the big, well it was big to me, the emotional video that I posted on Tuesday um, I just thought you know I'll, I'll leave Friday as a break and then I put up one of my new sketchbook Sunday videos which seems to have been a hit so I hope you enjoy those and if you do then let me know and I'll make sure to do more of them because I have a few more planned but if it's not something that's interesting for people then I don't know if I'll bother continuing doing it but at the minute I will because I enjoy it anyway uh, anyway I wanted to really try and push myself with this one with the line art instead of using just one colour or black or just pencil which is one thing I've been doing a lot lately I wanted to try doing two different colours to show that the light and dark areas in the line art so it would be where the light hits so I did a mix of a pink and a turquoise well it was supposed to be turquoise but it was more blue I guess and I, I really like how it turned out it's not something I'm gonna do a lot of because it's very time consuming swapping between the colours and the detail that I put into the hair in this made it even more time consuming um, now you can see that I'm just doing some colour swatches from the new palette and then I've got I scanned in my sketch and just printed it out multiple times so then I could do just some little colour tests just to see where I wanted to go because when I first started I didn't really know where I wanted to go with the colour scheme for the piece um, I knew I wanted to keep it close to like the pastel unicorn-y colours, the typical ones but I didn't know if I wanted to go down more the pink route or anything like that I know I did really want to try my new um, lilac colours but yeah I'm glad I did um, the, um, the skin tone I I guess I do kind of cheat because I have a flesh tint watercolour but I do know how to make skin tones so if you want me to show you in a video how to do skin tone with watercolour then I can but I know that um, uh, words are escaping me today 
Jelly Bee, she posted how to do skin tones with watercolours and I know there are a few other videos on YouTube already which is why I've not really done it um, and I know people have asked for me to do a hair tutorial and that is coming soon I promise it's just it's a video that's going to take a long time to do and I haven't had a lot of time to record videos at the minute as well uh, we're still doing a lot of little construction-y things on the house and everything so and the pregnancy is kind of taking it out of me again I'm getting really tired and I can't sit for too long like in one position but it's, it's other than that it's all going well so <laughs> I don't want to complain too much but there will be another pregnancy vlog coming soon I've not recorded it yet I thought I'd leave it a few weeks but yeah I'm thinking in the next two or three weeks there'll probably be the next one of those out um, and I've got another scan coming up in a few weeks so I might just wait until after that so you can see another scan picture as well but yeah overall I'm fairly happy with the piece I'm glad I went with a darker blue in the roots of the hair just to give it a bit more depth and I really like the contrast of the pink and the purple from the tips of the hair going up to the top but I think if there was one thing I was definitely going to change if I were to paint this piece again because the main drawing I didn't actually do it I don't know why I did it when I was painting it but the eyebrow is just way too long and it just makes it look odd and to be honest it's only something that I really picked up on when I was editing this video because when I was actually doing the piece I thought it all looked fine but looking at it now when just watching the video back as I do the voiceover it just sticks out so bad and it's just no but so that is one thing I would change and I think I'd like to try and do some more work with this character because she seems quite interesting and do some more detailed paintings because this one's quite a simple one really but I did manage to get on with my hot press watercolour paper to do this piece which I haven't as you might remember in one of my previous videos I mentioned about that and I just couldn't get on with it but it was it worked quite well this time so I think it's I've adapted my technique slightly to match the paper after some of your suggestions from that video and it does seem to be working like um I can't remember who it was but it is a lot about the water control um but yeah so thank you for the advice on the previous video on that but I don't think I've really got much left to say oh um don't forget this Friday coming the 7th is the next Art Addicts Alliance piece and I'm actually giving away the artwork I do in that video to one of you so make sure you watch the video to find out how you can win that original piece of artwork and the theme is nightmares so I hope you're looking forward to that I'm actually quite looking forward to it because I really like the concept that I've got so far but anyway that's enough of me rambling on and I will see you in the next video bye